Hello everyone, we welcome you to a series of videos on quick calculation techniques. Here we will learn the concept of unit digit and digit sum. We will also see some Vedic matrix and finally use these tricks and concepts to solve the questions of approximation and simplification. We will also use these concepts to solve some data interpretation questions. This series will have around 10 videos. The idea behind making this series is to make you comfortable with numbers, which we strongly believe is the first step towards mastering quant. So by the end of these 10 videos, I am sure you will see numbers in a different light. You will also realize that they are not so boring. So let's begin. Let us try to do this question. Here are your options. Can you quickly tell me what would be its answer in just 5 seconds? Yes, you are correct. The correct answer will have 6 in its unit digit and nothing else. And why is that so? Because 9 into 4 will give us 36. So the unit digit of the answer has to be 6. So our answer has to be 4. Now try this question. And again, here are your options. Again, this is a very simple question. It's just that I have inserted an extra mathematical operation. So let's try to do this. Again, this question is very simple. 9 into 3 will give me 27. So the unit digit would be 7. And for 7 into it, it's 56. So my unit digit is 6. So 7 plus 6, 13. So again, my final unit digit would be 3. And hence my answer would again be 4. Now try this question. Here are your options. Again, it's just that I have inserted one more mathematical operation. The process would again be same. 4 into 4, 16 would give me 6. 9 sevens are 63. So we will get 3. And 7 fives are 35 with a minus. So 9 minus 5 will give me a 4. So my answer has to be 3. Here we have learned the concept of unit digit. It is very simple yet very useful. Let's now move forward. Try to answer this question. Now if you look at this, you will see your unit digit concept has failed. So how do you go about solving it? Just give it a good look and let me help you. This question would illustrate the concept of digit sum. Here the answer would have same digit sum as individual digit sum and the respective mathematical operation involved. And what are digit sums? It is the sum of the digits of a given number added till you finally get just one digit. If the final digit is 9, the digit sum is 0. If it is anything else than 9, then that is the digit sum. Don't worry about it. I will explain you with plenty of examples. Let's try to find the digit sum of the LHS. So if you will see for the first number, the digit sum is 1 plus 2 plus 3, which gives us 6. For the next part, it is 4 plus 5, 9 plus 6, 15. And then you again add this number 1 plus 5 you will get 6. For the next you have 8 plus 7 15 plus 9 it is 24. You again add 2 and 4 and you will get 6. Well this is the long way of doing it. An easy way would be to cancel 9's as and when you come across them. I'll show you how. 1 plus 2 plus 3 6. There is no problem here. In the next number, 4 plus 5 plus 6, instead of adding them together, 4 plus 5 gives me 9. So I can just cancel this part. So I'll be left with only 6, which was my digit sum, even when I added all the 3 together. Now, for the next part, again, I can cancel the 9. 8 plus 7, 15, 5 plus 1, 6, or I can give 1 from 7 to 8. So this becomes 9 and I cancel it and what remains here is 6. So I hope you have understood to find the digit sum quickly and smartly.
So 6 into 6 into 6 gives us 216, which gives me 9, which is nothing but 0. So whenever you get a 9, the digit sum becomes 0. Okay. Just look at the calculation here. Again, the smart way would have been 6 into 6, 36. 3 plus 6 is 9. So this part becomes 0. So anything into 0 is 0. Okay. Let's move forward. Now, let's try to eliminate answer choices using digit sum. First option. Again, this is the long way of doing it. 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 gives us 27. 2 plus 7, 9 is equal to 0. So this could be our possible answer. Well, what would have been smart way of doing it? So here 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. So I can cancel this. Now here 5 plus 4, 9. I can cancel this. So now here 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. Again, I can cancel this. So I get a 0 here. Now let us try to check the digit sum of all other choices. For second, we have added it and we have got 28. So 2 plus 8, 10. Finally, 1. Again, this is the long way. If you compare these two answer choices, all digits except 1 are same and they differ by just plus 1. So if the digit sum for this part was 0, for this it would be 0 plus 1. Similarly, for third it would be 0 plus 2 and finally for fourth it will be 0 plus 3. In the beginning you can just add it and be sure that we are doing it correctly. After 3 or 4 problem you will be very comfortable with this. So my LHS had digit sum of 0. So my RHS or the answer also has to have digit sum of 0 which is possible only with first option and hence my answer would be number 1. Okay, let's try one more problem. Can you quickly tell me what would be the answer? Again, let's try to find the unit digit. The unit digit of LHS is 7 into 1, 7 plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, can you tell me what should be multiplied with 3 to have unit digit as 0? Yes, you are right. It can be nothing else but a 0. So with this, we have eliminated two of our answer choices. Now let us try to use the concept of digit sum. So for the LHS 2 plus 0 plus 1 is 3 and 8 plus 7 is 15 which is 1 plus 5 6 plus 4 plus 1 5 plus 3 8. So 6 3 is 18 would be 8 plus 1 9 so that will give me 0 and here my LHS would have digit sum of 8. Now, for my RHS, I have x unknown into 7. Now, 7 into what will give me 8? 1, no. 2, no. 3, no. A 4, no. A 5, yes. So, 5 into 7 would be 35, giving us digit sum of 8. So, 5 is one possible choice. Let's see 6, no. 7, no. 8, no. 9, no. The only possibility for the digit sum of our answer is 5. And hence, we can also eliminate options 1 and 2. So our answer would be 4. So here again, you can look at the screen. The digit sum of LHS was 8. Checking the remaining options, we saw the first had the digit sum of 0, so it was eliminated. Again, second had the digit sum of 2, it was eliminated. And finally, the third had the digit sum of 8, which was same as LHS. And that was our answer. Quite simple, isn't it? So more you practice, faster and better you will become at it. Let's move to the next question. Can you do this quickly? So let us begin with the unit digit concept. So unit digit of LHS would be? Here you have a 9. Here 0.125 is nothing but 1 by 8. So here you have 1, 1, 1. So here the unit digit is 1. And 0.6 
into 185. You have to see 6 fives are 30. The first zero will be consumed by the decimal. So the next digit 6 8s are 48 plus 3 51 is the actual unit digit. So the, your unit digits are 9, 1 and 1. So the unit digit for LHS would be 1. And hence, even the RHS will have its unit digit as 1. So our answer has to end with 1. So we can eliminate option 2, 4 and 5. 2, 4 and 5 is struck. Now, to choose between 1 and 3, let us try to use the concept of digit sum. Now, let's try to quickly find the digit sum of LHS. We'll cancel the 9, 6 plus 6, 12, so 2 plus 2, 3. In the next part, you have 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8 into 8, 3 is 24, which is 6. And then you have 9 is cancelled, 5, 6 is 30, so 3. So your digit sum would be 3. So 8, 6 is 48 is 4 plus 8, 12, which is nothing but 3. And again here, 3. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 gives us 9, which is nothing but 0. So now my answer choice will also have digit sum equal to 0. So let us check the remaining options 1 and 3. 1 has digit sum of 8. So this is also eliminated. So our only answer left is 3. So you can see this on the screen. And hence our answer would be 891. I hope you have understood the concept by now. If you have not, Please pause the video here and watch this part again. This is fundamental to whatever we would be discussing in our next 9 videos. So please try to understand this concept very well. Now as a prescription, I would advise you to learn all these things. These are really important. You cannot do without them in any competitive exam. And if you really try to do it, you will be losing on a lot of valuable time. So please learn table from 1 to 20. It would be great if you can do it up to 1 to 30. Reciprocals, this is must. From 1 to 30, you have to buy hard it. Squares, I'll expect you to do from 1 to 30 if you can do up to 1 to 50. Nothing as good as it. Cubes, 1 to 20. Again, I would like you to learn it up to 1 to 30. Square root, 1 to 5 is sufficient. If you can do up to 10, it is good. Same goes for cube root. Percentage, increase, decrease, important and common ones, they are very important. And it has extensive use in other arithmetic topics like speed, time, distance, etc. Finally, indices, first 5 powers of 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11 and first 10 powers of 2 and 3. If you have these numbers by heart, trust me, the level of comfort with numbers will increase dramatically. Well, I totally understand that learning this would be very boring. So we have developed an app wherein you can learn all this number in a fun way. It would be very useful for you. So you can go to play store and type Vedic Maths. The first result would be Maths app. You can install it. After that you will be asked to sign in. You can continue as guest also. And there in the by heart section you will see all these. So you can learn it in a fun way. So if you have not downloaded it, please download it and practice as much as you can. Lots of students have given us this feedback. They have found it immensely helpful in remembering all the numbers that I have just asked you to. Also, it contains some Vedic math tricks. You'll be happy to know this is completely a free app. There are no ads also. So please download it and use it to your advantage. By the time we come up with the next video, which should be in two to three days, I expect you to learn all those values and go through the entire Vedic Math tutorial so that we can see its application in some of the simplification questions which are asked in a lot of competitive exams. So here are some sample questions which we will take up in our next video. So kindly go through all the things that I've asked you to and come prepared for the next video. Thank you very much.